Welcome to our podcast called The Next Shot, where we talk about photography, video, and how to edit your work. All right, welcome back, everybody, to this episode of The Next Shot Podcast, where I'm joined by my co-host, Luke Lukasik from Georgia. Luke, how's it going today, man? It's going great, Roger. How's it up there for you? Uh, pretty good. Uh, weather's a little wet, but we'll get through it, you know? Um, yeah. Today, we're going to discuss a few things uh, on the podcast for our listeners. Um, B&H actually put out an article of 44 ways to improve your photography. So uh, I sent that to you, Luke, to look over, and I think we've picked out a couple of the categories that we think would benefit our listeners. Is that correct? Correct, correct, yes. Very good. Okay, so to get started today, uh, we want to thank everybody that has um, supported us this far like we did in the last episode we want to make sure you guys are getting value out of our podcast so with that being said make sure that you guys like and subscribe to uh, the YouTube channel and also leave some comments in there if you guys watch the videos or listen to the podcast any feedback that you guys give us will help us grow this podcast and it'll also help us grow the show and the photography that we discuss with you guys so one of the things, Luke, I wanted to talk to you about today in the categories is uh, shoot every day. So what does that mean to you, Luke? Uh, you know, it's a few things. One, obviously, would it be to shoot something every day, whether it's with your phone or with the actual camera. Right. Um, my mom used to have a saying that she'd always ask me, do you ever take pictures with your eyes? You know? And it was a kid, I was like, I don't know what that means, but as a being... As old as I am, I can totally understand it. Every day I'm out there, sometimes I just see an image and it just it, it, I click it in my head, you know? So I can go back at some point with my, my phone or my camera when I have more time, and I take that picture, you know what I'm saying? It's 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 something that's really stuck with me. Um, so every day is just learning something, if you can, on, on your camera or your phone. Uh, just you know, exposure, just whatever you can learn um, every day. Right. So let me ask you something. When you're going out and you're taking pictures you know, mentally and you see that scene, um, do you see it as it is or do you see it with maybe some edits? Or how, how do you see the final image uh, when you're looking at it? I mean, how, how much different is it? Well, sometimes it's exactly the way you see it. Other times you can picture it, you know, maybe with, with less cars or less people or, you know, just somebody walking across it. Um, there's multiple versions, multiple edits, I guess, in your head um, when you're out there doing it. Yeah, I agree. I do the same thing. Like I told you in previous episodes, you know, driving to work, uh, if, you, if you just change the route, maybe take a different road you've never been down, uh, you may see things that... Uh, catch your eye you know that you can stop and Definitely. take that picture if you if you have time that day and then uh, if not go back and, and shoot it at a certain time of day you know if morning's not the best or you know you pass it during lunchtime uh, you know just keeping that in my, that place in mind so for when you get ready to take that picture uh, no matter like you say with uh, your DSLR or if you got a, a, a nice iPhone that's going to take a really good in focus shot you know, just being able to, to capture that moment, I think that's the, the most crucial part of it is getting that image saved. And like you say, taking pictures, it, it's it's free. It's just a, a moment in time that's captured that you can share with everybody forever. So, yeah. uh, There's actually sometimes where I'll, I'll pull up my phone wherever I'm at if I see something. Uh, I'll pull up Google Maps and I'll put a pin yeah. in that spot and I'll right. screenshot it so that way I know to go back to that spot just that, that area, you know? Right. If nothing else, while you're scrolling through your pictures, you may have forgotten and be like, oh, you know, we need to go back and shoot that spot, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the things that ties into that as well is our Get Out and Shoot campaign that we're doing. You know, I, I've been posting a lot of that stuff on our Facebook. Uh, so all that is to me, that means, like we discussed before, is get out, take about 10 pictures, put them together. You don't even have to edit them. Most of the pictures that I put on that Get Out and Shoot uh, campaign and, and the videos that I'm putting out have not been edited. I'll either shoot it in black and white or I'll adjust the contrast before I shoot it. Uh, and it's just to get people involved and, and to say, here's 10 images that I shot today. This is some of my work. This is what my eye sees. Like you said, you know, just picking that picture, taking it, 
and moving forward with it you know most people will take it and all they do is just keep it on their phone I want to get you guys out get you shooting and let's see your work so if you guys have anything that you guys want to show us uh, a picture that you took you know just this morning or after you listen to the podcast you go out and shoot in your backyard send it to us you know, via Facebook and we'll discuss it on our next show and you can remain anonymous if you want we'll just we'll pick the picture we'll tell you some critiques about it and we'll tell you what we like about it and uh, and you will give you praise and and show you how your photography can change as you grow so uh, leading into that Luke um, with another category that they had on that B&H uh, photo article that they had written was to experiment experiment with your camera with your settings so can you dive a little bit more into that as well yeah you know just experimenting a is going to help you learn your camera for real you know you're going to play with your whether you're going to shoot raw or jpeg right uh, whether you're going to shoot manual whether you shoot priority mode um aperture mode shutter mode you know what I'm saying? just it's it's a good way to really just play with your camera learn your settings um It'll help you change your perspective on some things. I'm saying sometimes you just got to get down lower or up higher or just lean into a shot. Um, just experimenting with your camera is going to help you and your camera become one, if you will. You know, you just, right. just totally understand every single mode, every single click, every single button that's on that camera. You're going to learn a lot about yourself, your, your styles, and your camera as well. You know, uh, just to expand on that, you know, have you ever been shooting, like, let's say you go to the mountains and you see this great landscape shot and you pull over on the side of the road and there's about six other people out there with cameras and they're all shooting the same picture, you know, and you see this one weird guy way over there bent down shooting up through the grass you know yeah that's me that's you that's people that have a different perspective and they don't want that same picture that everybody else is getting so uh yep. you know playing around with the settings of your camera you know even looking back at some of uh ansel adams black and white you know to kind of see how much contrast was in those images and nobody could shoot like him you know so just getting that different perspective i think does help experimenting with uh, some of the settings that you have there's apps on your iPhone that do a lot of the manual settings as well uh, you can adjust those f-stops you can adjust your apertures uh, your ISOs anything that you can do on a DSLR pretty much you can play around with on some of those just to, to figure out how that changes the image completely so I, I definitely agree um, and with that, uh, I know we just said to kind of learn your camera, learn all your modes. Right. But the other thing, forget all that too sometimes. I'm saying just totally go off on your own and, and experiment uh, and disregard all of the actual rules. Exactly, you know, just, yeah. Just figure it out, you know. So sometimes those are the best shots when, when you just, you know, you screw up on accident trying to figure something out and that's right. a great shot. And I've, I've did a couple things like that too, just just a little bit of motion blur, you know, hit the shutter, move the camera at the same time. Uh, you may not can tell exactly what's going on in the picture, but sometimes the the blur kind of helps out with the, the final image. And it's something you can do on accident, you know, or if you uh, are taking panoramic shots, you know, and, and you go, always go left to right, always go left to right or right to left. I've changed panoramic mode and went from bottom to top and it changes the whole perspective of the image to where most people are getting the landscape shot horizontally try doing a vertical panoramic that's really popular right now i don't know if you've ever tried that but you just switch your camera keep the the panoramic mode and just go from bottom to top you know i'll try that and it's really cool like if you've got let's say this um this little scenic where you've got maybe this statue but the clouds are amazing that day the vertical panoramic and and when you put it on to uh, an editing software or your iPhone you can do an iPhone crop to where you know it's a vertical shot that's now panoramic that you normally would not get everything in that frame so definitely try stuff like that Definitely, definitely. so basically what we're doing is getting everybody in the mindset of taking the pictures doing a few little edits and getting it out to the world so you know even if it's between us you know on the the next shot Facebook page uh, getting some stuff together of your work to try to promote you yourself 
So I think that's our main goal here is to discuss some photography. Let's see some of your work and we're going to eventually get to where we're going to do a screen share. Uh, we're going to share some pictures with you guys, but definitely follow the Next Shot Facebook page so that we can post some pictures there for you guys to critique and kind of send us some feedback on as well or if there's stuff that you guys want to learn about photography and about videos and shooting those things too. Definitely, definitely. Uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody who is supporting us um, and hopefully there is a lot more to come. Right. And, you know, we haven't really dove into the video side. But also today, if you guys go out and shoot, hit your video mode, video what you're taking pictures of. Just pan left to right, up and down, just kind of get a little bit of feel for video. And then when you put it together with an image, you know, it makes, it kind of helps tell the story. You know, it helps tell the, the feeling or the emotion that you guys may have, especially if you're at an event. Uh, if you do anything with a, a concert or anything outdoors that they're allowing nowadays uh, or anything that anybody's performing or if you see stuff around uh, you know let's say you got a hummingbird feeder and you want to do a little video of that and then take a quick snapshot those two together could tell a story uh, just because a lot of people are getting into the video uh, I don't know the the attachment to that right now but I mean it, I guess it adds a little bit more real life to your um, photography so you know just make sure you're capturing both of those doesn't matter if you do anything with it now it could be used as b-roll later for some of your promotion work you know yeah. um, it could lead into a lot of other things that's what I'm saying so all right with that being said this episode we're, we're trying to keep kind of short as well so that you guys can take time to go out and shoot so Luke I want to thank you again for being our co-host today and uh, Thank you for supporting everything that we're doing as well. And uh, I guess we'll see you next time on our next episode. And thank you again for joining us for the next shot. Thanks for having me.